I am Hans Bullock Fall, and I'm making cargo bikes in the company Larry vs. Harry, together with my friend Larry. Uh, we built the cargo bike, the Bullets, so far, and hopefully in the future we will build some more cargo bikes. I was uh, a carpenter for 20 years, riding a cargo bike in my company. Uh, and we always used the cargo bikes for, uh, for transportation. And apparently it was very efficient, it was cheap. And uh, I just realized that I didn't need the car. At the same time, my partner was, uh, was building uh, cargo bikes for a large company. And after two years of building a trike, they came up with a very, very nice trike. I think it's the best cargo trike in the world. And still my old long jump that was uh, 60 years old was faster. And we started to discuss how to, how to take this further. Uh, and we wanted to build a, a cargo bike that was fast and that looked good. So we went together and, and over the years we made some drawings and he came up with stuff and said, you like this? And finally one day he said, are, are you ready for this? And then we did it. Currently we have 13 different models and then we have frame kits and besides that we got a lot of accessories. So um, like chess you can make a combination, yeah, kind of eternity. A large group are the parents who like to ride with their kids to use the cargo bikes as daily transportation for commute but also for, for buying groceries, picking up kits for using the bike as you would use a car. Who wants the bike as an alternative to the car? Because, well, the car is still a very nice thing, for, but for shorter distances, it's, it's inefficient, expensive and, and old fashioned. And then we have a group of, uh, of professionals, carpenters, uh, electricians, cafes, restaurants. People who have uh, a need for, for transportation and a need for, for showing a different profile. Today, if, if you ride an SUV, you're, you're showing the wrong signals to your customers. But with the bike, put your bike outside the shop and, and people will say, oh, this is, this is okay. Then we have the group of bike messengers uh, that uses bike as for messaging, for mail de deliverance, uh, which is a large group too, that's, that's still increasing. Uh, we sell it in in most part of Europe and I think that the cargo bike is increasing in, in all, all European cities. Things are growing, people like it in, in different towns, in, in different countries and it will grow. It's, it's important. I think it's, it's a pretty safe town to ride around and it's easy to get around. And, and the city has been improving the roads and the conditions for the bicycles again and again. And over the last year, it, it has become very popular and the city has, has realized that this is also selling Copenhagen. Copenhagen is, is the town that you come to if you want to see bicycles. And, and, and that is good. I think that mainly the city has been good at, at helping the bicycles. Better than most other cities in, in the world. The best part about the cargo bike is that you might actually save some money. When I was a carpenter, I, I realized that the logistic was good and the speed was good. Everything was good, but what I realized was that I was making money. I was really making money by this. And, and this, this is an argument that, that can persuade the, the most conservative uh, handyman in the world. So if people realize that, that this is not only a good idea for the earth, for the environment, for a lot of things, but it's actually good business. It, it, might, it might grow even more.